What is up, Macros Inc. family? I want to do a quick tutorial on uh, my macros and how to use it to log your foods and why you are overthinking it. So there's two really main, two really big reasons why you should be using my macros over my fitness pal. Um, one is ease of use. And if you don't think my macros is easier, then it's very likely that you fall into the first category of overthinking, uh, overthinking it. And two, um, it's just simply more accurate. So my fitness pal doesn't calculate your calories based on your macros, which means when you submit things to the portal, what you see in the portal and what uh, your calories listed in my fitness pal are probably different, which then leaves you going, well, what the hell's going on? Um, the other side of it is that my macros does calculate total calories based on the macros, which is most important. That's more important than your total calories is that your macros are correct. Um, the other side of this is really simple is that you should be building almost all of the entries as custom foods so that you know you have the accurate information. And I was literally just talking to a client about this. Um, it takes about a minute. It takes about a minute to enter the information and build a custom entry. So I just want to walk through that really quickly and show you guys just how easy it is. So the caveat to this is that I have two food items that I don't have the ability to scan and I have two food items that I have the ability to scan. So I want to show you that um, really quickly here. So we're going to pop open my macros and I haven't tracked anything today and we're going to do this first. So you're going to hit the menu button, barcode scanner. And the first thing I'm doing here is I am tracking a Nutrigrain bar, which I might not be able to do. Scan it, bada bing, bada boom. Unable to find the food. Okay, hey, cool. That sucks. Let's dismiss that and then manually add this food in. So, food name. Strawberry Nutrigrain. Nutrigrain bar. Save. Uh, I guess this is Kellogg's. Kellogg's brand. And then the serving size is one. The um, serving value is bar because it's one bar like this is just a prepackaged food item i'm not worried about what it weighs we're going to save that the next part is really crucial you're not going to put the calories in all you're doing is putting the macros in so i've got the box right here the strawberry one is uh 3.5 grams of fat it is 25 grams of carbohydrates and two grams of protein all right so now i've saved that and it is in um, my custom menu, right? So it'll be at the very bottom. Strawberry Nutri-Green Bar, bada bing, bada boom, logging it for breakfast, done. So that literally took me 35, 40 seconds, right? So let's add another food here. I'm going to scan something else. So same thing. Going to go and hit the barcode scanner. It's going to pull that open. We're going to scan some breadcrumbs today. If I can find the barcode. And again, I don't know if this is going to work or not, but. Okay, bada bing, bada boom. Kiko Man breadcrumbs. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to look at the serving size and make sure it all matches. Okay, so the box says per half cup. So we already know this is going to be potentially wrong. Um, you're going to hit this little edit button up in the top uh, left-hand corner, the little pencil. You're going to hit edit food information. You're going to change the serving size to um, the box in this case says 30 grams is the serving size. So you're going to change the serving size to 30 and the serving amount to grams. You're going to delete the calories and you're going to go um, and put in uh, zero grams of fat, um, 24 grams of carbohydrates, and you're going to put in... Uh, four grams of protein and you can leave the rest the same and now when you save that that's now correctly logged if I need to log 30 grams of it I should get roughly 112 100 calories 112 calories which is basically what the box is the box is 110 boom that's logged okay so again that took me total of two minutes to look it up scan it and then edit the entry we're gonna do two things manually so we're gonna add a custom food you're gonna go I'm doing raw chicken so raw chicken brand doesn't freaking matter and the serving size is going to be per hundred grams 
And again, the serving name value is going to be grams or grams or G or whatever you want to put it as. And same thing, you're not going to put the total calories. You're just going to put the total fat, the carbs, and the protein. So I've looked this up beforehand. It's got 3.6 grams of fat. It's got zero carbohydrates, so no need to change that there. And then the protein I'm going to put as the 31 grams. I'm going to save that, and I'm going to add that to my uh, daily meal. Let's say I had uh, 150 grams of raw chicken. That's 235 calories, almost 50 grams of protein and six grams of fat. So again, you can see that this is really taking me no time. This whole video is going to be less than five minutes, maybe a little bit longer because I talk a lot, but you can see it's taking no time. The next thing we're going to do is add one more custom food. This one is nasty green stuff. Oh, that's not spelled correctly. Nasty green stuff, AKA Brock. Uh, brand doesn't freaking matter. And then same thing, the serving size is for 100 grams. Serving value, grams. So total fat is 0.4 grams, which I think is largely irrelevant, but over time it will add up. Um, total carbs is 7, and the total protein is 2.8. So the same thing, oh, 2.8. So the same thing applies here. You're, damn it, <laughs> I got fat fingers today. The same thing applies is you're never, you're just really never going to enter the calories. The only thing we care about is the macros. We don't even care about the sugar and, and all that other stuff. Just, just focus on the big picture stuff. We're going to save that. I'm going to add it to my meal. And I had, um, you know, 200 grams of that nasty green stuff, AKA broccoli. So, you know, my point of all this here, my point of all this here is really simple. It's not that hard to use the app. Uh, you're overthinking it. That's that's really it. You are absolutely overthinking it. And in trying to do it the easy way by searching for foods and searching for brands and searching for these different things, you are actually making your life more difficult. And if you just succumb to the process and do it manually, <laughs> it will become easier over time. The kicker is that you probably eat the same 20 or 30 foods. And that means the total time investment to get the majority of your food into my macros is less than 35 minutes. And I know that you spend more than 35 minutes a day scrolling through Facebook. I know that you have your phone on you and you scroll aimlessly through, through crap for 35 minutes. I know that you go to the gym and put effort in for more than 35 minutes. I know that you have the time to make use of this app. And if you are, um, you know, too busy, then you are kidding yourself. And I just have to be real with that. And that might be harsh, but it's the truth. So use the app. Don't get discouraged by it, but simplify the process. Scan it. If it's not there, quickly add it custom. Just add the uh, serving size in grams, the serving value in grams, unless it's liquid, of course. And then just add the macros. Don't even worry about the calories and the rest will calculate itself. So that's my spiel. I'll make another video of like this of adding recipes soon enough. I just wanted to show you guys that and just really have you realize how easy this app is to use. I was a MyFitnessPal user. I Even like when I started with Macros Inc. a year ago, I was like, I'm not using my macros. Look how clunky this app is. I paid for my Fitness Pal premium. And um, about a month ago, I was talking with my coach, Hannah, and she was like, you know, you should really use my, my, my macros. It's more accurate, yada, yada, yada. We talked about it. And I talk about it with my clients. So I finally made the switch myself, and I've been kicking my ass for not making that switch sooner. So that's my spiel. And, uh, and that's basically it. I don't know what happened there, but you can't see me anymore. So use my macros. <laughs>